Hello everybody and welcome to another Pinterest pin generator tutorial. So today I'm going to show you a new feature I've just built called uh, well, RSS feeds. Um, it basically uh, can tap into any RSS feed and it can generate pins when a new article appears in that RSS feed. So for those of you who don't know what an RSS feed is, um, it's basically a feed of information, an XML format that uh, always updates when there's new articles on a website or an e-commerce uh, store uh, and it keeps an up-to-date uh, record of that uh, in a nice format. So the benefit of this is that we can create a, a RSS feed reader that continuously checks that feed and it does something with the data. So in this case we're going to be generating Pinterest pins with the data. So Check out this for instance. This is my little uh, blog with my wife about being a nomad. And you can see all the blog, blog posts here um, that are there. So as they come out, they're each added to a uh, RSS feed. Now this is a WordPress website. So the standard rule is uh, website slash feed with WordPress websites. But depending on your setup, it might be a little bit different. And you can see here there's XML and there's a whole bunch of data, but what you, what you can see is okay title here uh, and a traveler's guide to exploring Mexico City so that's the latest blog post that was in there and all of the blog posts will be in here um, keeps tips to maintain health while traveling five incredible surfing beaches so yeah you get the idea so all the posts are in here so the RSS feed will go to check this for new information and then generate pins from it so let's head over to pin generator and you'll see in the menu bar here, there's a new button called RSS feeds. Jump in there. And here you will uh, be able to connect an RSS feed from which we will automatically generate pins from any new articles that appear on the RSS feed. So the first thing you do is simply connect your RSS feed. Uh, you'll put in the URL of that RSS feed. It'll go and check that URL and then it'll show you a little demo of what the pins are going to look like that are generated. So now you might ask yourself, how, what design settings are used for uh, these pins? Well, it's basically the design settings that are set up currently in Pin Generator for you. So in this case, you can see it's got some of the, uh, the blog posts that uh, we have and then some random templates I've just set up, top three countries for British people to move to. So you can see it's using the images and the text from ollieandthecaptain.com. And yeah, so you can see that these are from these blog posts. So that is just a little demo of what's going to come through. So now regarding design settings on the generate page, uh, your design settings are here. So if let's say, for instance, you wanted to use a new color palette, uh, like uh, let's just do a, that one. That's easy to easy to see. And let's say let's choose some different templates because that square one was uh, not very nice. Let's just go to the basic pack and let's do, I don't like the square one, let's do a circle, that, that, that. Okay, let's just double check our selected templates. Cool, so happy with that, let's go done. And we can go back to the RSS feed and recheck the uh, design settings that we have set up now. So it'll go scan again and you can see it's using the new design settings that we've had set up. So what it'll do is once you save this RSS feed, it will save those design settings and then use those every time to create pins. So you don't have to worry about uh, if you change them, will this change? Uh, and yeah, so you get, you get the idea. Um, so now that you've got the feed connected, uh, and here's a general RSS connection guide, here's a WordPress guide, here's a YouTube guide. So those should cover most of your bases. So once you've got it connected, that's all good. You're going to select the boards that you want the pins to go to. So I'm just going to select a couple of randoms. You can select a few boards. And then every time this pin is, uh, well, uh, this RSS feed is um, detected a new article, it'll create the pin and then post the p or schedule the pin to each of these boards. Cool. So it's a pretty simple setup. And once you're happy with it, you can save the RSS feed. And you can see, uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, that's the one we just did. So, and yeah, so I've got, I've got that. You can connect the same feed multiple times if you want to do different things with the pins and or schedule to different boards, uh, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. So 
you'll see here that the last check time for this RSS feed is the 31st of July 2024 and this is going to check your RSS feed periodically I think it's every one hour <laughs> let's double check that um, and it'll check for new articles generate the pin and then schedule it to your uh, scheduled your scheduled queue according to your scheduling settings as usual and um, yeah I mean of course you can delete an RSS feed uh, and if you want to check out the design settings that you had with that RSS feed so that you can edit it and maybe recreate it like let's say you want to make some tweaks but don't want to start from scratch again you can load the the design settings from here so let's load those design settings cool oh, sure, but sorry this has been in the way the whole time uh, and then you'll go back to the generate page <coughs> and we should have uh, oh, something that's happened And we should have those design settings loaded again. Yeah, boy. So, okay. Yeah, so that's a simple, quick tutorial on how to set up your RSS feeds. And let me know in the chat if you encounter any issues. It's just gone live, so there might be a thing or two wrong. But uh, yeah, let me know, and I'll be monitoring it to see that everybody's feeds are working correctly. So some RSS feeds are a little bit different, like the YouTube one is quite a little bit different from the uh, WordPress one, but there is a standard format, um, and that standard format, uh, if it's adhered to, then it will work. So if you want to see the standard format, so I've got a little uh, in the general guide here, an RSS feed should have a standard format and I just give an indication of that XML RSS feed format. So yeah, cool. That's it. Uh, hope you enjoy and let me know how it goes. Cheers.